News First News Line with Faraz Shaukatali. And a very good evening to you and a warm welcome to Newsline Live. We are, of course, broadcasting from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Colombo, as we almost always do. Now then, uh, today is the 9th uh, of August. There was a lot expected. And to find out uh, what on earth was going on uh, today, uh, we thought we'll ask a seasoned and veteran politician um, who knows a thing or two about these things, uh, what it's all about. And also, what chances there are of actually securing a national government, uh, which apparently Sri Lanka needs now, according <coughs> to those in the know. Uh, I would also like to know whether there is any documented plan, an action plan, to immediately start regenerating the inflow of dollars which Sri Lanka obviously needs. Very good evening to you, Dr. Rajita Senaratna. Thank you for coming. Very good evening, Farad. Now then, Dr. Rajita, um, today, uh, there was uh, some expectation of lots of crowds and protesters and so on. Um, I went past uh, some of these places and um, quite frankly, I thought to myself that this looks rather like a puss vedilla. Nothing really has happened. Why do you think that is? No, actually it, it was that because, you know, now when the, <laughs> the real struggle for the call for the struggle actually for the Aragale, mm. that was well organized, you mm. see. So they planned, they actually, they send the, uh, their uh, messages through the WhatsApp right. to the entire country through 19 WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. So the ordinary people never knew about starting uh, the, actually the first uh, day of the Aragale, mm. but lakhs of people uh, came into without any organization because one man uh, gets up and say that on uh, August 9th uh, come to street and all that mm. uh, no uh, people will never come for that yeah right uh, people knew that there is no organization nothing uh, there was no and even the uh, these uh, Sarapa Park Shikaragala Karu mm. right the all party strugglers yeah. they made uh, as he, as uh, this was announced yeah they uh, uh, at the very beginning they condemned it mm. saying that it is too early yeah there is a new president there is a new government yeah so you must give a little time mm. otherwise the people will not uh, uh, come in protest right so uh, because they understood politics they had uh, experience yes though they knew that this will be a flop yes so because he made the statement uh, one fellow and he continued to uh, try to make it a reality, mm. nothing, uh, nothing happened. Mm. So that shows, without organization, without a proper uh, plan, no one can, uh, uh, you know, uh, give uh, like something like magic mm. uh, to the people. So that is uh, also actually, true. Actually, actually, it is not that the people were f uh, uh, so desperate and they didn't come. It was, uh, it was not an organization's call. And nobody supported that call. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, like you say that you know the lack of planning, uh, isn't <coughs> that also true of uh, governance? And in uh, you know today, um, even today, uh, just a little over three weeks since we have a new president, um, I'm yet to have a real action plan to start the inflow of dollars yet again. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, the tourist industry, all the infrastructure is in place, the rooms are there, they're all made up. I know hoteliers have spent a lot of money over these uh, last two and a half, nearly three years now with COVID and so on. But, you know, the infrastructure is in place, but we need a concerted effort on the part of government. We need a plan, but there doesn't seem to be a plan, unless I don't know. Do you know if there's such a plan? I don't think that there is any plan because it is suddenly that the uh, former president wanted uh, Honorable Rani Lickram Singer to come and take over the pre premiership. Right. Because then after that the struggle continued mm. and there was no environment in the country to plan and do something. The meanwhile the, he fled mm. the uh, president and he had to take over the presidency. Right. So how can you, how can there be a plan? when these things are happening in an ad hoc manner, right? So he, he, he was taken over uh, as the premier, then 
after few days as the president. Yes. So he sworn I and mean, uh, as the president. So uh, there can't be a plan now. Only he must be planning. In the meantime, uh, the people are the social distress continues. Uh, social distress continues, but uh, as there are the the queues are not much at, uh, like those days. The people are uh, become uh, happy, but it is very temporary. Well, yes, but it, uh, the the queues have reduced only because the availability of fuel is about half of what we normally have. Yes. And therefore the people have got used to uh, getting less now. Mm. And uh, one uh, wonderful thing, of course, is the QR code system. QR. That seems to be working and, you know, uh, well done to um, Kanchana and his team for having done <coughs> that. So, so good. But the point is this. You can have all sorts of QR codes and uh, all plans, but if you don't have the goods, to distribute, then then what do you do? That's right. The the, the fuel is not available. Yeah. Uh, still, uh, they they have the quota. The yeah. people have the quota only. Yeah. The limited amount of fuel they get. Yeah. But they are happy, uh, happier than earlier. Happier than earlier. Earlier happier. because they were in the queues for f days. Yeah. Now they just uh, without uh, much of a delay, they come and they um, um, get their, get their uh, quota. Yeah. <coughs> only problem with the QR code also we must tell. Uh, here, uh, being um, uh, in the ministry, petroleum ministry, how long they took to uh, create this code? If they called some young guy who yeah. is involved with the computer and yeah. said at least to arrange, give us a um, you know computer network yeah. uh, to uh, supply the uh, fuel yeah. without any, um, uh, they, they being justified in the queues, yeah. uh, they would have prepared and given. Hmm. What is that? Hmm. Right, you don't uh, need uh, months and months. There hmm. are enough people who uh, who uh, have. More, or the, you know, before that, uh, I think Matara, one of the sheds, they started the system without queues. Okay. So if uh, one uh, shed can do that, yeah, the go government couldn't do that for months. Is that an inability to hear people? Yes. They don't want to listen to people. Uh, not that they don't uh, have the listen, but there are no experienced people in the cabinet. That's what the problem. Now, now, uh, Dr. Raju, to tell me this, uh, Mr. Vikramasinghe has uh, said that he he's invited everybody. He's written to all the MPs, as me, <coughs> and he wants you all, all to join in uh, in a sort of a national <coughs> government. Yeah. How possible is it? How real is this? the chances of doing this that? This time actually he had uh, called us and uh, he had uh, invited us for a all party government. Yeah. Right? So this is the first time in the Sri Lankan history of all party government to be formed. Yeah. Uh, this uh, Earlier actually there were plans to form national government. Yes. But not all party government. Right. This time it's a all party government. So, for the all party government, only thing, uh, Honorable Vikram Singh made a policy statement in mm -hmm. parliament. Mm -hmm. That policy fa statement is very good. Mm. Actually, it is our policy statement. Or the, it when is you the, mean it our, the, who's our means the, the, you know, we are the breakaway from the UNP, no? Right. So, we broke away so not because we, we, we had any policy difference. Right. There were other problems. Right. Only we, which uh, forced us to. Uh, leave UNP and form another party with uh, under Sajid Premadasa. Yeah. So actually, it is our camp's uh, ideology. Right. It is the UNP uh, policy plan. Right. Not port or anything else. No. So we can uh, actually, when I was listening to this, it was thinking I was thinking it is my policy planning mm. about the co communal matter, mm -hmm. about uh, uh, the corruption. Mm about uh, how to uh, actually <coughs> deliver the things to the people. Mm. Everything is our, our plan. So mm. we, we have no problem. So after that only he is inviting us for a uh, all party government. Mm. But there are a uh, lot of things to be done before forming a natural uh, all party can, government. Can you tell me like what? Actually we, we have to think now now there is the, uh, the Aragala people, you yeah. know. Uh, they are uh, actually the government is hunting all the people. Mm. So that is why in my uh, presentation, actually when I went for the talks, I told the president yeah. uh, that uh, he himself says that this was very non-violent, very creative. Mm. Uh, as it it's as it started mm. later, the extremists took over that. Mm. Then only the violence took part. Mm. 
mm. because the uh, extremists were always bent on violence. Mm. The uh, the originally the crowds, the actually the leaders, they never wanted mm. any violence or anything. Mm. They were very creative. They are having music, they are drama and all that, and very peacefully they were. That is why all the middle class, the upper middle class, even the capitalist class, yeah. people in the even people like chairman of the mass. Company also visited the uh, golf face, no, right. and actually sympathized with them. Yeah. Uh, even the entire corporate sector appealed to the people to come to streets on the ninth of July. I, I, are you are you sympathetic to the fact that Mr. Vikramasinghe um, followed the policy, and you know he he's uh, he's well known for planning. Yeah, but. Honestly, uh, from my my perspective as a member of the public, uh, honestly, I don't want to wait until 2048 <coughs> to see uh, Sri Lanka shine and yeah. and whatever. Yeah. I would rather have a plan for the next 25 days, not yes. for 25 years. Yeah. Aren't you? Are you? Are you? <coughs> not worried that not a single action plan was put in there. There was policy. Yeah. And he's talking about all the things that you've st spoken about and you say that it was from the UNP and so on. Uh, are you not worried that there is no ac immediate action plan? We need action now. Actually, there is no immediate um, uh, action uh, to overcome this problem because the Rajapaksas have made this country a bankrupt country. Okay. Right, there is bankruptcy. So you can't just from 25 days you can't lift the country from that uh, one. But there must be some process. So actually, their plan, even our people like Harsha and them, they all say go to IMF. Mm. But whatever said and done, this is not, now we have actually faced national problems in this country and we have sorted out mm. partly at least. Okay. Then we had some economic problems in sometimes that we have o overcome that also. Right, but this time, what I say is that I see this as uh, not as an economic uh, only, but this is a monetary crisis. Yeah. Right, there is no cash, there are uh, there is no dollars, mm. no rupees, both. Yeah. So from that only, that whoever who comes, even we take over, it's the same. Mm. Right. So <coughs> now he has to face that. Unless we inject some money from some source. Mm. We take get some from some fund or some place and inject at least uh, four or five billion US dollars. Mm. You have no way. Uh, then otherwise, the only way is that the IMF has to supply. So first, I, first actually, the they will uh, give us for um, bridging finance, mm. right? That is about three four hundred million. What can you do with that? Yeah. Right. That is only go, uh, enough for one month. So the uh, otherwise, at least to for us to continue for six months, you need about four five billion U.S. dollars. Then after, in the meanwhile, then we have to do the restructuring mm. and get the balance funds from somewhere, mm. right? Third uh, one is actually yeah. thirdly, we must have a plan. Mm. Actually, uh, not only restructuring. Yeah. Actually, uh, to get the foreign um, um, uh, the f uh, foreign exchange to the country, forex, right? So we have to get the from our uh, uh, our employees from abroad. For, from, our, from our citizens working abroad. abroad. I, I, I see your point. Yeah. Uh, but you know, nobody is going to bring the money through the official channels. When the unofficial channels, you can get far more. Far more. Uh, so, they, so, so, so you, that's what so I mean you have about an Im action plan. You have to improve the uh, economic situation in the country yeah. where the black market uh, has no, uh, no relevance. No, no, no will be. That's right. But now, <coughs> uh, uh, Dr. Rajita, several questions coming through uh, are right here. 07, uh, 0772 300 305. WhatsApp or SMS is all fine to us today, but please uh, make sure you type it properly, have your glasses on and so on and so forth, right? Now then, I, what, one of the recurring questions that have been uh, asked is, it appears that Dr. Rajita Senratna is um, uh, seeking to rejoin uh, Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe. Are you, are you trying to rejoin him? No, we have a discussion inside the party. Hmm. About rejoin, we can't just rejoin, no. Are you so? Because are you are you are you saying you will not rejoin? Uh, you will not join uh, Mr. Vikram Singer in this all-party government unless it is coming 
as a party. Is that as what you know? We will first, uh, first we have to get uh, Mr. Vikram Singh to clear a lot of things. Right. Right. About, uh, about the repression and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. So then we have to uh, get the, uh, as you say, how he is going to plan, at least to, um, not the whole plan for years, mm -hmm. at least the immediate plan for him to uh, actually <clears throat> to uh, bring the economy back into some status. Mm. We are not stable, at least to some status, better um, to a better uh, place. Very interesting yeah. point. Uh, but let's now have, take a quick peek at this evening's headlines and then return to Dr. Rajita Senaratna, who's our guest on Newsline Live tonight. We'll see you on the other side of the break. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukutali. Protests against suppression. Is the Aragalaya over? Hadim Pasi Api, me istanit ayin karagana iwatta. Jara majara krame yata te nisa ma, AI to make a wahak pin dati. President praises troops who protected parliament. PUCSL approves an increase in electricity tariffs by 75%. Iron pole crashes through windshield. Driver escapes with minor injuries. What will happen to the Chinese ship? Journalists go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Minister Bandula. <laughs> We must be prepared to face any challenge. There is no quick fix, but we have to go for a solid fix. Where do you think the Central Bank of Sri Lanka is heading right now? Coming out of the ashes like a phoenix, we will rise. People are fighting for daily survival. We have to restructure our debt, there is no doubt about it. I'd rather try at my best, sitting with the enemy, trying to sort this out. IMF is not the destination. We've heard lot of political parties over the years over promising and under delivering face the nation every monday at 9 30 p.m on tv1 news first newsline with faraz shaukutali and welcome back to Newsline Live. I'm in conversation with Dr. Rajita Senaratna, uh, Member of Parliament. So, Dr. Rajita, I, I've heard what you say. Do you think that one, one of the demands of the SJB is to stop this sort of uh, yeah. pers uh, persecution as opposed to prosecution? Um, what about people who have been uh, doing very serious criminal activity like arson and so on? That you have to. Now, even in my presentation to the president, I said even you bring them to the golf face and you hear the cases, that we don't mind. But the people who are not involved, non-violent people who mm. had made small, small mistakes here and there, yeah. uh, don't charge them. That is what our appeal was. Mm. Right? The balance, the, the, the arson and everything, you do anything uh, with them, with the uh, law, they can do anything uh, as they like. But not for the other people, though mm -hmm. because the pe people have the right to struggle. That's a try. That's a fundamental right, right? Yes. Uh, to resist. Uh, and any, what anybody. does Mr. Vikramasinghe say to that? So he said, actually, now I took an example, two examples. One is I said um, I t uh, told him about uh, Joseph Stalin. Yeah. He is a very non-violent fellow. Yeah. Right, throughout the career, for 30, 40 years, he was in the trade union movement, yeah. never violent. So. And the two uh, officials of the bank employees, union, yeah. right? Uh, so th those type of people. Uh, so anyway, on Monday, as he, he promised to uh, uh, get them the bail, mm -hmm. that they will uh, ask the attorney general to go and 
go for a bail and asked our lawyers to have a bail application, mm -hmm. a special motion. Uh, he was discharged. Did you not ask Mr. Vikram Singh about, you know, some time back when Mr. Stalin was arrested at that, that time, Mr. Vikram Singh in Parliament, he said yeah. uh, what he said, which Correct. is that, uh, you know, we might lose GSP no, Plus yes, because yes, of him. Yes. So is now the same man, he's got no relevance yeah. to GSP Plus? Now he Didn't was telling that day, he said, when I sp spoke about uh, Joseph Stalin, he said he also spoke to Joseph Stalin right. when uh, he was uh, arrested. Mm. And he had asked what, uh, um, uh, what help he, co he could do. Then Stalin has said, only thing is for, uh, to actually take him to the courts as early as possible. Mm -hmm. He said, he, that's no problem, I, he will ask the police. But nothing happened. Mm. He was taken after the courts were closed. Mm -hmm. to uh, the magistrates uh, personally mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he was remanded. Mm -hmm. So that means he said that I, I have that actually uh, he said that he had handed over these uh, th um, uh, problems to the minister of uh, um, uh, the po uh, in charge of police. So actually when he was telling actually he, um, that uh, he, uh, from what he said actually we could believe that uh, this had happened without his knowledge. Mm -hmm. So that there is something, uh, something is happening. Uh, these type of things can happen in go any government. Yeah. And those days uh, earlier also, the, uh, the actually the uh, leaders, uh, the heads of state was blamed, but it was done by somebody minister or some, some other uh, character. Mm -hmm. So we don't know. Actually he himself had to, uh, then in that case, clarify this uh, matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much for your questions. Here's one that's very interesting. The government has requested citizens to surrender the US dollars in excess of $10,000. If not, they will be prosecuted. Another one. What about the dollars robbed by the politicians? Will they be prosecuted? Yeah. In that case, if the government wants the citizen to hand over the dollars more than 10,000 rupees, they, what they belong. Mm. Actually, you cannot keep ten, uh, more than ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, that's the country law. Hmm. In that case, they have to start from Rajapaksas. Well, I think that's what the person is asking. Yes, I also say right. Start from Rajapaksas. But when well, the Rajapaksas hand over their dollars, then the people will start uh, handing over. But how possible is that? We have a president who is obviously being backed by the uh, port, the Rajapaksa family party. That is immaterial, no? If you if you go, that is, if that is the policy. It would the, be the same as Gotabe taking action against Basil. Yeah. Now now Gotabe is also now they say that he was spending about uh, in Sri Lankan rupees about 2.6 million rupees a day in yeah. Singapore yeah. right so on, who's paying only, for only for the only for the food and lodging right right not for other uh, other thing so if so then where did he, uh, now he would have uh, he he can't pay that in rupees no are you that is in yes. dollars so who's paying that is the is the president's fund paying that uh, no the, somebody must be paying no so those dollars are um, um, uh, actually uh, the, the government can recover no those dollars, unless it's even uh, the, if if you if you actually collect the dollars, mm. the Rajapaksas as uh, Rajapaksas are having, mm. that is more than enough to run the country even for one year. Have you another question? Have you any idea, or has the president got any idea? Has he given you any idea about improving tourism? How how is our country going to grow? These these hotel rooms mm. are just waiting for people. Sorry. Have and that is why actually he wanted that the struggle to be moved out uh, from the uh, golf is green and so many things to are done mm. uh, to attract the, these people. And the tourists. The, no, that is not enough. Mm. Uh, the, he has to settle the fuel problem. Mm. Uh, otherwise, uh, um, uh, there is no transport for the uh, tourists. Mm. Now, I think uh, today I saw in the TV before I'm coming that they have started issuing uh, tank and they give tank full of fuel mm. to all the uh, buses mm -hmm. and other transporting uh, vehicles. So it's slowly coming together. Slowly coming together. So that if you can improve the transport and also to show that the uh, country is calm mm. and because today it's Pusvedilla, mm. so that uh, there is a good uh, message to the uh, international right. that the country is normal getting back together. normal actually it is not normal 
Do you think there's there. somebody asking a very cheeky question? But yeah. uh, you know, Newsline, we say it the way it is. We ask it the way it is, the way it is that we see it. Somebody's saying, do you think, Dr. Rajit Senarapta, that um, a fellow by the name of Mr. Mahendran in Singapore might be paying uh, Gotabe Rajapaksa's 2.6 million every day? Yeah, it may be Mahendran. It may be even uh, the person uh, they supported uh, for sugar deal. Okay. Right. It could be that person. Uh, yes. Mm. Uh, those people. And he, oh, otherwise, even uh, Gotabe Rajabaksa also ha ma must be having enough dollars with him. He would have taken enough do dollars from the country. Mm -hmm. But he left 17.8 million back in the presidential palace. That is what he couldn't count. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know, sorry, we're not being flippant, but uh, here you go. Many questions asking the same thing. Why aren't the Rajapaksas being arrested and demanded? Uh, and a demand made of them f to to return their money. Why can't they? Are there any assets in this country? Yes, but you have to file cases and prove actually mm. about his, uh, their assets. There are cases about their assets were withdrawn uh, sometime back by the Rajapaksas they themselves. Is that is when that what Mr. Vikram Singh's remit is to make sure that all these cases are withdrawn and then they let him be? Yeah. But I saw today Johnson Fernando's case again. Re, uh, today they have filed in the High Court, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so like that, if they can file the cases, then they can find the uh, money. Because you know why? When we charge them, and uh, from our government, the uh, yeah, the yeah, government. Yeah, government. So later there, there were no results, and the people also thought that we had bullied, right? We had actually. Uh, um, bullied the Rajapaksas yeah. by just saying and making false allegations. Yes. Right? Now, today, the entire country knows what had happened. Actually, we couldn't do that because there were infights between the Prime Minister and the President. Mm. Right? And the certain part of the government, they themselves tried to safeguard the Rajapaksas. That is what had happened. Mm. That, so, it finally, the episode ended up by arresting people like us. Mm. when their government came into power. Mm. Those who were fighting for against the corruption were charged for corruption also. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> there, there are several questions about this. Uh, and also uh, another question. Dr. Rajita, this is for you uh, personally really. Uh, are you going to join um, the other two? Uh, Harin and the other one, Manush, I think. No, then in that uh, case I could have joined earlier, no? Even actually, even at that time, I I, I was proposing mm. that for a common program, we must get together mm. to lift the country from this situation. Even we form the government, we cannot run the country. Mm. It's the same. Yeah. Now, even if somebody thinks that we will get the, uh, you know, uh, the real, uh, actually, mandate from yeah. the people. And we, are, we, have, we have a new five years after 24th, mm. 2024. So then, uh, then what? You what? think that the people will wait for five years? No. In five months, if we don't deliver, they will rise against our government. Do, you think, do you think that you agree with uh, your, your leader's position, that uh, you all will help from, uh, from through the committees and the commissions, rather than having ministerial portfolios? No. That is, that is those are very nice, uh, you know, uh, theories. Right. But practically, as I had been in the cabinet for 15 years, mm. without now, now even our leader also talking about executive committees. Mm. So executive committee in the par of executive powers from the parliament is called the cabinet, mm. right? The parliamentarians are part so of the parliament. So if you're just about to finish, if your leader is adamant that he will, his party will not accept positions, ministerial portfolios, will you then leave that party and go and sit with the no, government? Uh, no, no leader cannot, uh, can be adamant. Hmm. You know why? Because the leaders, uh, now these are democratic parties. Hmm. So I think our leader also will discuss the pros and cons mm. about us. This is not a national government. This is an all-party government for a short period, mm. right? Mm. Just to overcome this 
uh, actually financial problem in the country. The well, you know, the problem. public are watching and the public will be uh, looking at Rajatasena Ratna to see whether he will actually do his part to put the people's social distress to bed. Yes. So, uh, we all have uh, some duty, but it is the president who will have, must have a good, actually, plan for that. Okay. Yeah. Just, and you, uh, you will be just, backing him? Rather than just, uh, just calling for an all-party government, nobody can join. He, Even he must join. talk? No, yes. The, how it, is, it will be formed. And so, it will be not uh, Ranil Vikram Singh's government. It is all, all of us government. An APG. A government uh, uh, run by all of us. Um, Dr. Rajat Senator, thank you very much. We've run out of time again. Uh, it's now time for the primetime news from that wonderful News First uh, primetime news team. Uh, take care. Have a great evening ahead of you. And as always, God bless you all.